Standing by for physical separation. Undocking confirmed at 12.52 a.m. Central Time, 1.52 a.m. Eastern Time. As uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 254 miles over far eastern Mongolia. Give me your estimate. With undocking, Expedition 48 is now formally underway aboard the International Space Station under the command of NASA's Jeff Williams. What is your estimate of the docking port? No comments. Copy. It's all clean. And this is a view from the Soyuz as it backs away from the Rosviet module of the International Space Station. Again, undocking occurring on time at 12.52 a.m. Central, 1.52 a.m. Eastern Time. In a minute. Waiting for the first burn in three minutes. Copy. We're about a minute away from the first separation burn. Again, that will be an eight-second burn to uh, increase uh, the opening rate between the Soyuz and the station by about six-tenths of a meter per second. I'm departing. Farewell, gentlemen. See you on the ground. <laughs> the uh, traditional ringing of the bell on board uh, the International Space Station by its new commander, NASA's Jeff Williams. Good luck to you. See you on the ground. See you soon. Having launched uh, last December 15th, the Soyuz TMA-19M begins the journey home. Next stop, the steppe of Kazakhstan. Thruster activation, yes. We call First separation burn underway. Eight seconds. Of and the separation burn complete. We see the maneuver. Yes, we can observe the maneuver. Less than two minutes away from the second of this pair of separation burns. The uh, Soyuz uh, spacecraft has completed an orientation maneuver as planned. Second separation burn now underway. We have this is about a 30-second burn to increase uh, the opening rate by about 1.6 meters per second. Copy. We can see thruster activation. Three minutes. 
Yes, do we copy? And uh, deactivation. And the second separation burn complete and good. Accelerometers deactivated and the two were repressed. Copy that. Good views of the uh, Soyuz TMA 19M spacecraft with Tim Copra, Tim Peak, and Yuri Malenchenko on board as uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station fly over the uh, northernmost Japanese islands. And now E1. E1 command executed, and we have indicator illuminated, and SSVP to off, copy. Indicators are not illuminated, and deactivating the light. Yuri Malenchenko, the uh, veteran Soyuz commander in the home stretch of his sixth flight into space, is now uh, setting uh, the uh, controls on board the spacecraft uh, from the undocking uh, set of commands uh, to the uh, different set of ballistics commands that will set the stage for the deorbit burn uh, that will uh, begin the trek home for the Soyuz, the deorbit burn scheduled two hours, 22 and a half minutes from now. I got it, MCC Moscow. I got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please monitor. If Vizier is up and running, it is. Send the get for command at zero. At zero nine zero six at the end of the compass and perform close out operations. Copy and work. Great shot uh, of the Soyuz against the limb of the earth. The Soyuz is flying over the uh, South Bering Sea right now, about to begin a northwest to southeasterly course. Just wanted to remind you. Two hours, 21 minutes away from the deorbit burn of four minutes, 37 seconds in duration, a retrograde maneuver that will uh, essentially act as a braking maneuver to enable the Soyuz to slow down and be captured uh, by Earth's gravity to enter the Earth's atmosphere in its uh, final plunge toward its landing site in south-central Kazakhstan. Search and recovery personnel that include NASA and European Space Agency personnel are beginning to uh, depart uh, the Karaganda Airport in Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, to make their way towards that landing site, which is uh, about a two-hour flight uh, from Karaganda to the southwest. Agate, greetings, how copy? Loud and clear. 
Юрий Иванович, привет. Юрий Иванович. Hello. And both teams. Hello, guys. Hello. Glad to hear you. It's a pleasure to hear your voice. Everything is uh, fine on the ground. All services in Караганда, all teams are ready. The weather on the landing site is pretty good. So, stack pressure, the pressure is 751.5, and the, meter, the wind speed is about 10 meters. But otherwise, everything is nominal. Yuri Vladimirovich, we copy all. Thank you for the heads up. All right, guys, I won't be distracting you. We are waiting for you on the ground. Copy. We'll see you soon. See you soon, guys. Quick update uh, from uh, search and recovery personnel uh, patched in uh, to the uh, Soyuz spacecraft through the Russian Mission Control Center, providing a status report on preparations uh, at the landing site. I got it. Again, uh, the weather forecast uh, for landing is expected uh, to be good. Just uh, a few clouds, uh, some uh, rain showers passed uh, to the southeast of the landing site. Successfully, everything is nominal. Come again. All the settings. And there's a, a unique view of the uh, Soyuz uh, TMA 19M spacecraft and uh, the moon. You have them, so everything is nominal. Oh, we copy. The moon serving as a, a dramatic backdrop uh, for the Soyuz TMA-19M spacecraft that undocked from the International Space Station just uh, 13 minutes ago at 12.52 a.m. Central Time, 1.52 a.m. Eastern Time, and now has separated from the station with a pair of engine firings phasing uh, to a uh, distance well away from the station for the deorbit burn that is scheduled at 3.22 and 7 seconds a.m. Central Time. That will be a 4-minute, 37-second retrograde braking maneuver to slow the Soyuz down and allow it to drop out of orbit for its descent back into the Earth's atmosphere, headed for its landing site about uh, 90 miles to the southeast of the remote town of Jezkazgan in south-central Kazakhstan.